Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our national officials for this match. First referee, Erlindo Eusebio. Second referee, Polly Sanchez. And now let's meet the starters. First, for the Philippine Air Force Airmen. Opposite hitter number three, Wesley Caholo. Outside spiker number five, Paul Salvador. Center number six, Airman Rochet Villegas. Middle blocker number eight, Luis Lumanlan. Middle blocker number nine, Harold Domingo. And outside spiker number 12, Bry Haleko. Starting the battle, number 16, Eli Maklan. Sitting in as head coach for the Air Force is Airman First Class Jesse Lopez. And now the starters for the Maverick Hard Hitters. Opposite hitter number 11, team captain Russell Palisok. Outside spiker number 1, J.M. Cortez. Middle blocker number 4, Popo Rabino. Center number 12, Wilbert Sebrero. Outside spiker number 13, Kim Ten. Middle blocker number 16, Jetro Cabillan. Starting the battle, number eight, Rick Alfaro. Head coach for Maverick is Erickson Ramos. Here you see the starting lineup of your airmen. Uh, we mentioned Haleko coming off an eight point performance, a top scorer, but uh, Wesley Oranz Cajolo in his first game ever as an airman with seven points. So we highlighted that. Uh, Me time. Uh, this team, they're going to need a lot more offense. Kim Tan coming off a nine point performance. We talked about it uh, during the open. And then Razel Palisok, team captain, eight points. Jerome Cordes picking up five. Six. But nobody in double digits actually for both teams in their last game. You know, so both are going to have to step up if they are to break their three game losing streak. That's right. It's a great opportunity for the both teams. Uh, for serve the match, the hard hitters they're serving will break the win yep. in this conference. Although Air Force nga no, puksa pa natin kanina. Nagkaroon na isang panalo in their first game, but eventually hindi na sila kawawa ng panalo. Yeah, both teams three straight losses. Nice push to the back. Cordes popping it up. Uh, Alfaro will send it over underhand. So a chance ball here for the Airmen. Let's see how high they soar. Nice push. Both teams playing great floor defense so far. That one a little tight. Good save. Cabillan trying to keep it alive. Rally continues. Villegas sets it up. Another push. Nice block by Tan. Haleko will push it. Wow, what a rally to start off the opening set. Another chance ball, the second one. And there, finally, Cajolo will finish it off What's for the Emmett. He'll get the first point touch. of the opening set. Finally, Cajolo on his second first try. Match, should take a look at that replay. Villegas trying to activate Kaholo early on this Ryan game. Andy. And Kaholo was a starter in the second and third set in their last game. Now he's a starter in the opening set. A great adjustment. As Cabillan will Cabillan. dump it. Just try to airmen trying to uh, expose one. the younger players. Kim Tan. In the meantime, Kim Tan out of Arellano played for the Alpha Omega Elite. In the Spikers turf last year. There's a nice hit by Gringo Salvador. Another chance ball. The third one for the airmen here in the opening set. And a quick attack in the middle coming from Louis Lumanlan. Louis Lumanlan. A miss hit by Lumanlan, but score in on that uh, quick hit also from the National University. That's right. At five points in their last game. Service fault to start it off for Lumanlan. Um, early service error for the second best server of the league so far. There's Lumanlan. So we're tied at two. Out of Arellano, another chief. Cabillan with a serve. Salvador with a push. Cabillan popping it up. 
One-handed set, the dump attempt. Coming from Rapino. That hit is outside for Haleko. Haleko's under the ball on that sequence. Uh, medyo humaba. Pagkakapalo niya doon. Well, first taste of the lead for the hard hitters. Up by one. Oh, both teams struggling with a serve here in the opening set. Coach Erickson Ramos, part of the coaching staff of the crossovers, had a big win last night against uh, the HD Spikers in the PVL. Cortez got it. Cortez targeting the hands of the blocker. That zone one hit. Targeting the smaller blockers of airmen. So Razel Palisok out of Pangasinan. Jump serve is good. Nice pass by Haleko. Here comes Salvador. Excellent up. Coming from Kim Tan. Cordes sends it over. Ronchette Villegas back to Salvador. Got it. Good set there by uh, Villegas going to Salvador in that second attempt. So the airmen tie the game at four. That serve is gonna oh drop right on the line. It looked like it was gonna gonna go out, Gios, and then it all of a sudden last second it dropped on the back line. That's right. That's a tendency of a very good uh, float serve. Like a on that end line. Uh, this time, ball doesn't <laughs> fall right where it should. So that stops a two-point run of the airmen, and we're tied at five. Both teams, zero aces in their last game. There were three set losses for the airmen against the HD Spikers. As Kaholo knocks it in, and for the hard hitters against the Navigators. Backline hit there by Kaholo. Nakita niya yung butas, no? Talagang medyo, for this uh, kaliwete, no? Left-handed yeah. spiker. Talagang medyo mahirap basahin. In the meantime, another service fault here. Too many points given up from the service area. Three already for the airmen. That was Harold Domingo setting it outside. Rabino. Nice pass coming from Salvador. Haleko. There's the up. Coming from Rapino, Tan, Salvador with a dig. There's Caholo with an off-speed hit. Rapino pops it up. And back row push, and that's a nice little destination for Razel Palisok. Good read there by Palisok. Kitang kita nyo dun, yung butas itong airmen. Si Luman Lane, medyo lumabas agad. That time around, the ball is crawling over the net, so this is the biggest lead for the hard hitters. They're up by two as we go to our first technical timeout in the opening set. Back here in the Spikers Turf Open Conference. Compared to the last conferences of the Spikers Turf, napakabata ng line up ng Air Force na nakikita natin this conference. At kwento nga ni Coach Jesse Lopez, it is because 2017 pa ang huling pasok ng big batch of athletes Air Force. And yung young guys na nakikita natin in the team ay mag-e-exam pa lang. Kaya naman, even with their three-game losing skid, the team is being patient dahil rebuilding talaga itong ginagawa nila. But the Air Force will be receiving a big boost next week dahil babalik na daw si Lerana Nabdilia and James Boytrago for the Air Force, fresh from their beach volleyball stem. Eric Inyos. All right, maraming salamat, uh, Doreen. That's good news for the airmen. Um, Coach Jesse Lopez just taking over from Coach Jeffrey Malabanan midway through, actually not even midway, after just about two games in. Um, coach Lopez, now the head coach. Still a two-point lead here for the hard hitters, 9-7. Wilbert Sebrero out of JRU. A nice serve. Caholo off speed. What a dive there for Sebrero. Palisok sending it over. Caholo block. Popped up by Salvador. There's a nice push from Lumanlan. 
Both teams exchanging big blows. Villegas, the back set, Paleco. And it's popped up by Alfaro. Rally continues, Cajolo with a push. Sebrero popping it up, Alfaro will set it, back to Tan. Off the block and outside. Biggest lead now for the hard hitters, up by three. The longest rally so far in this match. Maverick winning that rally with that off the block hit by Tan. So Sebrero, second straight serve. Sebrero should feel right at home. He's from Pasig, where we are right now, Inares Sports Arena, Haleco. Alfaro popping it up, Sebrero to Cabillan. And a nice drop ball there by Cabillan. Again, no, yung talagang gitna na part ng uh, airmen, and yung nagiging buta sila so far in this game. A terrific run by the squad of Coach Ramos, who you saw on your screens. Five errors for the airmen, only one for the hard hitters. And the run continues, the hard hitters now up. 12-7, opening set, and Coach Lopez has seen enough. One man block against Taleco, and he will talk it over with the airmen. We'll listen to the timeout of the white shirts. Hindi kasi kayo aware kung ano yung gagawin niyo sa loob ng court. Ilang beses na nagbalikan yung bola, hindi pa rin kayo nagpalit. Alam mo naman na hindi siya komportable doon sa pwesto niya na doon. Tapos nandun pa lang yung bola, gusto mo na i-cover ka na, isa yung sinit. Hindi kasi, hindi natin nasusunod yung spacing. Ang kaya ng block nila sa harap, maliliit. Pwede pwede na tayo, advantage kayo, malalaki kayo. Ba't hindi natin, hindi natin gamitin yung advantage natin, bakit hindi natin magamit. All right, Coach Lopez pointing out so many miscues, the spacing, movement, the plays, and their, you know, the big disadvantage in terms of height so, uh, by the hard hitters, Yos. That's right. Also, the awareness, no, I'm going to point out ni Coach Jesse, na medyo nagkakatinginan madalas itong uh, airmen kung sino ang kukuha ng bola. Well, finally, a free point for the airmen off a service fault by Sebrero. This is a four-point deficit right now for the airmen. Off the block, Kim Tan will score. Coverage was late there for Air Force. Sometimes you don't have to block talaga eh. Minsan kailangan matouch mo lang yung bola para pabagalin. But unfortunately on that sequence, medyo na late ang libero dito ng Air Force. Haleko with a receive. Here comes Salvador. There's a net touch. Gonna be called against the airmen. They really can't get themselves going here, Yos. And a lucky point for uh, Maverick. It's a net touch for... Uh, Called on Air Force. And Ronchet Villegas trying to argue with Erlindo Yusebi, our first referee. They will challenge. It took a while, but they're going to challenge the net touch. So we'll review here. I believe Ronchet Villegas was saying it was the hard hitters who touched the net. The challenge First challenge of the match. Airmen were down by as many as five. Right now, they're down by five again. That's right. They need those points. Kahit yung mga paisa-isang points yeah. nyo. Kasi dahil nga, naghahabol sila on this set. They've committed just too many errors, uh, Yos, here in the opening set. I mean, five of the 13 points at least by the uh, hard hitters have come from freebies by the airmen. Airmen, three straight losses. They lost to the hard hitters. A bigger part of they lost to the HD Spikers, to the Navigators, and to Navy. The only win was against RMS, Richmark Sports, in that very first game of the Open Conference. Caholo 
Latest addition, there's Jesse Lopez took over from Coach Malabanan after a couple of games in the Open Conference. That's right. Not like rebuilding. Yeah. Itong, uh, airman with Kaholo, who's a former UEP Boys Volleyball MVP. Right. For FEU. That was season 82. And then he played for UP in college. And of course, no, aabangan din talaga yung pagbabalik nila Ran Ran Abdila. That's right. Of course, no, talagang pagdasamahan din ng mga veterans itong team ng Air Force. For sure, it's going to be a different team. And if you want to catch uh, Ran Ran Abdila, James Buitrago, they're playing in the Beach Pro Tour, which is going to be live tomorrow on One Sports Plus and Pilipinas Live starting at 8 a.m. They're going to be at the uh, New Valley Futures. So catch it. It's only until Sunday. And we hope a duo of Ran Ran Abdilla and AJ Pareja, James Buitrago, Rancel Varga, they, you know, go far and make it to Sunday, the semifinals and the finals of the New Valley Futures. They also were highlighted last week in the AVC Beach Tour New Valley Open. They didn't make it. They made it as far as the round of 16, but uh, no further than that. So hopefully here in the futures, they can go much, much further. And net touch. Is there a net touch? Yes, there is. So a net touch on Salvador. That challenge took a while. So unsuccessful challenge for Coach Jesse Lopez and the Airmen. So this is now the biggest lead at six points for the hard hitters. There is first referee Bernardo Eusebio speaking to our second referee Pauli Sanchez. We're having a mini conference. And now they call Ron Chet Villegas. Some clarifications on that challenge. All right, so play resumes. 14 serving eight, opening set. Final game of your Friday doubleheader in the open conference of. Uh, 2024 Spikers serve. Kimtan with a serve. Haleko with a bad pass. So a chance ball for the hard hitters. Their first of the match. Cordes, single blocker. Cordes will bury that one. Cordes with a powerful hit. Uh, good cross court there. Eight points. The biggest lead right now against. These airmen by the hard hitters opening set. Do it today, kasi gawin naman natin bukas. Gawin na natin ngayon kung kaya naman ang oras. Kasi saya, mahalaga yung bawat minuto na lumilipas. Inlay naman sa volleyball, parang do it today, na kung kaya mong mag-workout, kung kaya mong mag-double time, lalo na sa paglalaro mo. Kung may goal ka, dapat ginagawa mo na ngayon, hindi mo na para ipag Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with a signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit signal.tv slash switch for more details. All right, so apparently we took a technical timeout early. It's just 15-8. So we're probably going to get another one. Should the uh, hard hitter score here? Cabillan passes, Cordes, underhand pass, chance ball, Airman. Ronchet Villegas goes to the middle, and Lumanlan will score. Finally, Lumanlan getting a point on that quick attack. And yeah, in a coach Jesse Kanina. Uh, they need to use their advantage, which is their height. Now let's see if this is the start of a run for the Airman. Overpass! And there is a an overreach. Backline. Uh, backline attack call on Sebrero. Backline, she's not able to move her set. 
So a two-point run for Lumanlan and the rest of the airmen. Sabrero passes. Off the block, battle at the net. Oh, easy win by Cabillan. Terrific move by Cabillan against the taller Herald Domingo. And now we reach the second technical timeout. Hard hitters up by six. And they will go to the break. We'll take one as well and be back with more action right after these. And we're back inside the Inara Sports Arena as you see some of the fans at the stands checking out the second game of our doubleheader. It is the Airmen taking on the hard hitters. A uh, few new faces on the floor as Chodones, Romeo Chodones, uh, will check in and play for the first time. There he is serving. Villegas. Nice dig coming from Cordes. And the push coming from Palisok. Salvador. Cordes popping it up. And Palisok to Chedones. Toss it overhead. Villegas. And a nice hit there by Caholo. Finally, a powerful clean hit by Caholo. Talagang pag uh, mas tumagal pa itong si Kaholo dito sa Air Force. No? Talagang maging lethal din eh, sa spiker itong si Kaholo. Five-point game. Sebrero, tough set. Off the block, Razel, Palisok, the team captain, will score. And still, itong Maverick, no? talagang... Nagawa na ng paraan. Maka side out agad on this first set. Talagang hindi makadikit itong uh, Air Force. Out of Olivares College, Razel Palisok. Beautiful serve. Battle at the net. And that tip will be won by the small Ronchet Villegas. Ronchet Villegas is also a former uh, FEU Tamarao. Substitution for the hard hitters as Carl Honrado and Juan Miguel Galcana checking in. Galcana is a setter. There is Paul Gringo Salvador. Four points, three digs, 13 receptions in their loss against the HD Spikers. He scored in double digits twice, 13 against the Navigators and 14 in their win against RMS. Tough get there for Rabino. There's a push by Haleco. Alfaro sets it up to Cordes. Cordes is blocked. Galgana. Back to Cordes. Oh, got it. Good decision there by the center of uh, Maverick. Yeah, he's a basta basta. Maka kuwa ng puntos dito ang Air Force. And for Air Force naman, no, talagang the body, la the body language of Air Force medyo hindi pa rin ganun kasing taas. Yeah, medyo hindi siya makadikit dito sa set na to. Salvador, I believe, will score. Bounced it off the block of Honrado. Five-point game. The biggest lead was six points for the hard hitters. Domingo. Harold Domingo serving. Here comes Honrado. Oh, wow, what a shot. And even Honrado, no? contributing some points, kahit kakapasok lang. On this match, Carlon Rado only one point in the game against the Navigators, making an impact right away. As what you said, here's Rabino serving. Uh, John Rabino setting it outside. All right, there's Alfaro, the libero of the hard hitters. Ricardo Alfaro. Uh, right now, it is Ronchet Villegas. 29 years old, 30, 30 this July. Nice serve. Oh, it's on the line. No, it is outside. So they get a free point, they throw it away. And again, those errors of uh, Philippine Air Force. Uh, serving 
service. Tingang hindi nakakatulong sa kanila on this game. Back down by six points. It's his the biggest lead once again for Wilbert Sobrero, who's back in the game. Uh, the rest of the hard hitters. Palisok also returning for the Black Shirts. Villegas. Nice hit from up top by Dumanlan. And again, na yun yung mga pagkita ng nangyayari dito for Air Force. Kaya pag may receive sila, na kuwad quicker ang gumagana sa kanilang uh, dito sa set na to. Oh, back to back <laughs> service faults yos. And once again, talagang yung service errors din hindi talaga nakatulong sa kanila. That's a terrible start here for the airmen. Uh, finally, substitution as we see the veteran. Uh, team captain Rodolfo Labrador, who did not play against the HD Spikers, in for the first time today. Labrador also out of FEU, like Ronchet Villegas, Kim Tan, with the serve. Villegas setting it up. They go back to Koholo. Koholo is rejected. A bit low for uh, Koholo. That said, and low coverage for Philippine Air Force. Can we have a timeout to let Lito see Coach Jesse Lopez? It's the last timeout of the airmen. We'll listen in. Di ba? Kasi ayon yung magsimula dito sa kitna. Ang ginagawa mo nagawa one step kapa, nagawa one step ka nagan. Tumidikit ka narito. Ngayon di mo mabla, kasi nandung ka na. Alam niya na, sumosobra ka sa bola kasi nagsuswing kapa. Tapos, ang seten. Pwede natin i-take advantage. Ang quicker din ang isang pwede natin i-take advantage. Bakit hindi tayo makaano? Ang pasa natin, shaky. Service natin. Ngayon, alam niyo ilang service natin? Anim na. Ibigay si Ben, nanimigay lang tayo ng puntos. Tingnan niyo yung lamang. Diba? Well, to the point of Coach Lopez, Mong hindi pa updated si si Coach Jesse Lopez sa service errors pero they already have nine service errors so far. Six lang sinabi ni. Six lang sinabi ni Coach Jesse but so far. Pakita natin mamaya. Coach, kento na karami. Nine big points. Sabi kang medyo malaki yon. Yep. Kasi mula pa lang ni tong set ni tong game na to. And now they're down by seven. This is seven points, the biggest lead of the hard hitters here in the opening set. Labrador with his first touch, he's turned away. Labrador will try again, send it over. Alfaro popping it up. Sebrero to Cordes, rejected. Terrific block by Caholo and Lumanlan. Good block there by uh, Caholo and Lumanlan. Perfect timing, perfect angle of the hands. Yeah, they're gonna need to do a lot more. Cordes again, got it. And why not? Talagang pag nablock, papabawin agad. Talagang makakabawi, papakakabawi agad dito si Cordes. And medyo na-late naman doon ang blockers itong Air Force. Right now, the hard hitters can, are getting anything they want. Labrador making an impact. Finally, his first point since... Actually, his first point of the Open Conference. And mukhang ayun yung hinahanap ngayon ni Coach Jesse Lopez na no? magkaroon ng veteran no? on the court. Nice little serve that crawled over the net. Three-man block against Cordes still went through. Caholo with a receive. Labrador off speed. Oh, Labrador back-to-back -back points. And a veteran move by uh, JR Labrador. Yun na nga, talagang yun yung medyo kulang dito sa side nito ng uh, Air Force. Yung talagang leader na makikita natin on the court. Kaholo with his serve. Alfaro with the pass. Cordes. Yes! Okay, a good read there by Cordes. Finding the smaller blocker of uh, Air Force. Cordes. Gotta be five points already for Cordes. And this is six set points for the hard hitters. Served from the team captain, Razel Palisok. Nice pass. Labrador. Off the block. Yes, three points for Rodolfo Labrador. And why not? No? Talagang silent uh, but deadly leader. Ito si JR Labrador. 
He, this is only his second game of the Open Conference. He played against the Navigators, but didn't score. There's a net touch. Going to be called it's against the hard hitters. They are going to challenge this. Second challenge of the set. And wait a minute. There is an overrule by our first referee, Ernindo Eusebio. And the point is given to the hard hitters. They will win the opening set by six points, 25-19. That is the final score after the first set. A six-point win for the hard hitters against the Airmen. Set number two coming up right after these. Sa akin, not a quote. Eh. Parang it's, a, it's just a word na discipline lang. In any kind of way, kapag kasi naman mo ng discipline o disiplina yung bagay na ginagawa mo, it will lead you to the right way. Pagdating sa volleyball, yun nga, disiplina. Number one yun. Babangon ka para mag-insayo. Kapag nag-aaral ka, disiplina pa rin. Kapag nagtatrabaho ka naman, just like us, kung paano mo imamanage yung paglalaro mo at pagtatrabaho mo, lalo sa amin sa pagsusundalo. Welcome back to the 2024 Open Conference of the Spiker Surf as we take a look at the first set statistics. Uh, Mavericks winning that first set with 20, 25 points, uh, 19 for Philippine Air Force. Although, medyo slow start for both teams uh, with those many errors talaga on the service area for Philippine Air Force. Uh, Sinamantalan man ito, itong, uh, Maverick with their uh, open hits with their defense and mga rallies na naipapanalo nila on that first set and for uh, Philippine Air Force naman, no? oh, talagang medyo hinahanap doon ni Coach Jesse Lopez ang uh, leadership na kailangan may tumayo kaya naman pinasok na doon si JR Labrador at uh, in fairness to JR Labrador, talagang nagawa niya ng paraan kahit pa paano maidigat ang score nila on that first set and as we take a look on the highlights uh, Kahit medyo mas mataas itong uh, attack points itong uh, Philippine Air Force 14 compared to 12 itong Mavericks. Uh, itong Mavericks man nakakuha ng dalawang blocks compared to one itong uh, Air Force. And both teams medyo talaga nagkaroon ng struggle dun nga no, sa service area. And Philippine Air Force giving away 10 errors on that first set compared to 3 points itong Maverick. And of the 10 errors na binigay ng Airmen, 9 were service faults na nakuha ng libre itong black shirts there's lumanlan on your screens kabilyan naman para sa hard hitters looking to win their very first match after winning their very first set of the open conference so that's an achievement already for Razel Palisok and the rest of the hard hitters their first set ever that they picked up they, their first three games all three set losses so that's already a step up let's see if set number two will go down the same way the serve by Villegas will kick things off Dan what a dig coming from Villegas a nice setup coming from Abdul who's in the game for the first time today number 17 and there's a nice point to start it off for Kabilyan Right. Even though medyo manet for a middle blocker ito nga si Kabilyan talagang medyo mataas at tumalon Kim Tan with a serve 1-0 in favor of the hard hitters Lumanlan one-handed dig for Sebrero and Kabilyan with a bad pass They said uh, opportunity there for the Maverick so they hesitate sa pagkakadig itong second ball si Kabilian. Kaya naman din siya nakatake on that sequence. Nice serve by Haleko who has one point. Palisok right on the line. Razel Palisok with three points. Good target there by uh, Palisok. Kahit medyo off set na yun. Nagkawin niya ito ng paraan targeting that end line. Our coach Jesse Lopez, head coach of the Airmen. Villegas, back to Lumanlan. That's way outside. Uh, too much angle there for uh, Lumanlan. Hindi niya kailangan masyadong gawin yun kasi nasarap niya. Medyo mas uh, maliit na middle blocker. But 
Yun nga, no? medyo gigel dito si Lumanlan. Jetro Camillan with four points already. He attack points in one block. Labrador gets it through the double block for his fourth point of the game. And of course, JR Labrador is one of the best here in the Philippine Air Force. Sebrero goes to the middle and Rabino will knock it in. And for Mavericks, I think Line. Ay, uh, ano? Ikang makalamang. So far, in this game, ang uh, Air Force. Four serving two. Hard hitters up by two. Uh, got a good first ball from Labrador. Labrador will get it back. Alfaro popping it up. Sebrero. This side goes out to Cordes, who scores. Still. Maverick, uh, talagang looking good yep. so far on this second set. Yeah. Still, and for uh, Air Force, no? talagang even the first ball nila medyo nakawala yeah. sila. Biggest lead of three points here in set number two for the hard hitters. Much better pass from Labrador. Gets it back. Nice pop-up by Alfaro. Back row by Tan. McLean will set it up. They go to Abdul. Yes! Ahmad Abdul will knock it in. Abdul uh, with a triple block, no problem for him. Targeting the hands, the blockers of Maverick. Abdul only one point against the HD Spikers. A former NU Bulldog. Sebrero passes. Palisok with a push. Labrador again. Palisok popping it up, Sebrero. They go out to Cordes. And Cordes is denied. And finally, Air Force stopping Cordes on that open area. Yung inahanap talaga dito ni Coach Jesse Lopez, no? The advantage of the height ng uh, Philippine Air Force, lalong lalo na sa blocking. Two point run by the Airmen. Ooh, that service very low. So back to a two-point lead for the hard hitters. Former the navigator Jerome Cordes coming off a five-point performance. Great pass by Haleco Labrador. Cordes popping it up. And here comes Palisok off the head of Lumanlan. Oh, make that Domingo. That's right, and even the backline attacks of Maverick can gumagana for them. So two-point run that stops right there after the service fall by Cordes. And again, on both teams, major the yeah. and struggle in that service area. Just like the opening set, you also right, but there's something yata that in the service area. Nayon. Labrador will serve 5-7. They're down by two. Great pass. Sebrero running attack by Rapino is good. Uh, running attack for uh, Rapino. And a three point lead for the hard hitters. First technical timeout, set number two. You're still watching the Spiker Surf Open Conference. Eric and Yoss in the huddle right before the start of the second set. Coach Jesse asked for the following adjustments. Una, their service maliban sa errors. Hindi kargado ang service nila. Even if that is something they have been working on in practice. Pangalawa, they're not capitalizing on the size disadvantage of the setter and the quicker of the Mavericks. At pangatlo, he challenged Rans Kaholo for a higher attacking percentage here in the second set. Now that we are in the first technical timeout, how do you think they're doing, Eric and Yoss? I'll let Yos answer that. What do you think, Yos? So far, no? Good bow. We are going to be able to Air Force. Mas uh, aggressive when it comes to attacking and also on that uh, blocking area, the man. Well, they're on a two point run here. So that answers your question, uh, Doreen. Let's see if they can complete the run and erase this deficit. They're down by one. Sabrero. Oh, it's out of Kim Tan. Yes, Kim Tan side out. No runs for the airmen as the lead is back to two for the hard hitters. And, uh, good angle there by uh, Tan. I think the smaller blocker of uh, airmen. Sebrero with a nice serve. Haleko, not a good pass again. Tough set for Villegas. Easy block. 
But there's a net touch. I think it's on Palisok because Kabilian doesn't know what happened. So Palisok with a net touch. Quick side out. Easy point for the airmen. Let's see if they can take advantage of the freebie and tie the game on this serve by Villegas. Tan with a great pass. Quintan gets it back and scores. Side out game between these two teams, Yos. And again, no, talagang lumalaban at lumalaban dito ang Maverick. Hindi lang naiyak makadikit pa rin ang uh, Air Force. But same scenario, no? talagang kanina, talagang hindi lang naiyak makalayo ng makalayo ang Air Force. And now, hindi lang naiyak dumikit pa rin. Off the block, Abad Abdul will knock it in and score. So it's a one-point game. Both teams just trading points here in the second set. Brian Haleko, a true blue bulldog from high school to college. And Capillan will knock it in against the taller Lumanlan. And even first referee, Erlito Eusebio, had to smile about it. This deserves another look, Yos. Kabilian. Kabilian is about well, five, eight, five, seven. There's a block again by the smaller middle blocker, John Rabino. So back to back points for the uh, hard hitters. And uh, first referee, Lindri Sebi, says, uh, Enough of the taunting. You, you turn around before you start your celebration. But it's a big run here, Yos, for the hard hitters. This is their biggest lead at three points now. Villegas, the back set, Abdul. That's popped up by Tan. Here comes Rabino once again. Back to back points for John Rabino. Again, Maverick. No? Pinapagana, pinapagana. Itong uh, quick hits. Itong Maverick. And John Rabino will give the hard hitters a four point lead. Timeout, Airmen. What's the problem? Yung Tan may receive. O di iwas niyo yung service doon. Ngayon, pre. Advantage tayo sa gitna sana, kaso hindi natin ma-maximize kasi hindi siya nagpe-perform. Ano gagawin mo? Maximize, maximize. Tatlo spiker mo, create ka ng space. Then pag may space ka, mag-single block yung dulo. Gamitin mo yung spacing sa atake. A lot of problems, clearly disappointed. Coach Jesse Lopez, after this three-point run, by the hard hitters. Jetro Cabillan, former team captain of Arellano. Villegas out to Labrador, single block, and he is denied. Razel Palisok with a terrific move, waving his hand up top. And see, no, right? Can they even ng tigi tigi sa blockers lang ito ng Maverick? Tarikang nakuha nila yung blocks dito in the second set. Timing was perfect, kaya naman talaga hindi masyara makalusot itong uh, Air Force. Uh, finally a side out as Luis Lumanlan with the point. But there is a big gap now. It's a four-point lead for the hard hitters against Lumanlan and the Airmen. There are numbers right now, four points off four attacks. Block points, four for the hard hitters, only two for the Airmen. Abdul! Is rejected, but it goes outside. And off the block hit there by the lefty of uh, the airmen. Still, no, talagang nakakapat, nakakapapa rin dito ng Maverick, although I'm outside on that sequence. Two point run for the airmen. Oh, combination play, and Razel Palisok will drill that one in. Side out, hard hitters. And what a time for that uh, combination play for uh, the Maverick. Ang napasabay sa gitna itong middle blocker sa Air Force. Six points for Razel Palisok. Uh, not a good pass again by Haleko. It's going to be an off-system play. Easy pickup for Alfaro. Sebrero go back row. Kim Tan. Yeah, it's popped up by Villegas. McClung will set it to Abdul. Sebrero they go out to Cordes off the chest of. Haleko, Abdul will send it outside. Second, 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 second. 
Back to a five-point lead for the hard hitters. Second technical timeout of the second set. When you feel like stopping, think about why you started. Ako ko niko siya sa sarili ko kasi may experience ako na may nagsaram pinto. Tapos ngayon may opportunity na bumukas last season ng Spikers trip. Yun po yung nag-open po sa akin ng opportunity para magpatuloy sa paglalaro ng volleyball. Kaya thankful ako sa Spikers Turf at sa team namin na tinanggap nila. Arena Plus, Astigs Sports, Labrador, nice save by hard hitters. And Haleko popping it up. Easy over coming from Herald Domingo, Sebrero, running attack, uh, nice tip. Coming from Rabino, Labrador is blocked by Rabino. Haleko with the coverage. Labrador down the line, picked up by Palisok. They go all the way out to Cortez, who knocks it in. Libero nitong uh, Air Force. Six points. Biggest lead right now for the hard hitters. Abdul, yes! Finally, good side out for Abdul. Medyo shaky yung mga unang attacks niya. And finally, no? he won with some blocker once again done. Itong Maverick. Substitution, Galcana and Honrado return. Second appearance for them in the match. In the meantime, Ancheta will check in along with Kaholo. Well, Ancheta, it's his first appearance in the match. Meanwhile, Kaholo, who started in the opening set, is coming off the bench here in set number two. So, Paolo Ancheta, former NU Bulldog. Didn't score in that loss against the HD Spikers. Came off the bench in the third set. Calcana will set it. Combination play. Honrado. That's off the chest of Baklang. Caholo with a push. Alfaro saving it. Chance ball for the airmen. Ancheta. Back set. Caholo rejected by Honrado. What a play defensively at the net. And still, the blocking of uh, Maverick so far. So good for them. Kahit mag-isa talaga na iiwan mga blowers itong Maverick ay nasasalat at nasasalat nila mga palo dito ng Air Force. And we go back to the point of Coach Lopez. I mean, these hard hitters are smaller. All of them. Rabino, Honrado are all smaller than the, the players they're blocking from the airmen. Labrador with a floater. Galcana and Rabino. Send it wide. Oh, it look good. He was way up there. Labrador. There's a two-point run for the airmen. Nice pass by Cordes. They go to Kim Tan with a push. Easy point. What a drop there by Kim Tan. Kita kita niya, no? Okay, established some blockers dito ng uh, Air Force. Narang na harang sa kaya ng drop ball niya. Medyo na late naman doon ang depensa sa likod nitong Air Force. The lead is five for Chodones and the rest of the hard hitters. Former San Sebastian Stag, Romeo Chodones. Ancheta, they go out to Haleko. And that is on the line for Brian Haleko. And a good side out for uh, Haleko. That open hit, targeting the cross court, adjusting in mid-air. Former Tamarao, Herald Domingo will... Ooh, that could have been outside. Alfaro picked it up. Tan through the triple block. Amazing shot by Kim Tan. And still, kahit galing sa likod, yung set na yun, no? Nagawa ito na para ng Kim Tan. Kita natin na medyo hindi establish yung blockers doon nung uh, kahit naka-triple block sila. Medyo hindi nakapasok yung kamay. Ganoon nakapasok pa rin ang uh, palo doon ni uh, Kim Tan. Meantime, Sebrero and Palisok return. Galcana and 
Honrado will sit back down. They're protecting a five-point lead. Short serve. Haleko picking it up. There, Lumanlan will score. Finally, the Lumanlan has been quiet so far on this second set. So, kailangan ibalik dito ng Air Force. In the meantime, Abdul and Villegas return. Kaholo and Ancheta will sit down. Four point game, 16 serving 20. Airmen down one set to nothing after the hard hitters won their very first set of the Open Conference. Easy point there. Razel Palisok gave Abdul one last look after the hit. And uh, once again, no, good combination play by uh, Sebrerero. Alam na alam niya kung ano niya gagawin ng uh, combination plays for Maverick. Medyo nahihirapan basahin dito nitong uh, Air Force. Another short serve. Villegas goes to Haleko. Alfaro popping it up. Sebrero will set to the middle. Cabillan picked up by Villegas. Maklang will set it to Haleko. And that's through the double block. Haleko will score. Hindi pa na huli lahat. Haleko. Kaya pa lang humabol on this set. 17 serving 21. Oh! Just when they're starting to get their confidence, their morale up. A service fault and the lead is back to five for Jethro Cabillan and the hard hitters. Rabino will return. Chudones will sit back down. There's a full front line with Cortes, Palisok, and Rabino for the hard hitters. Lumanlan, yes! Lumanlan with that uh, still middle hit. Ang gumagana for this airman. They have to maximize Lumanlan. Kaya lang ngayon, nasa likod na siya. Sabrero. And nice hit there by John Rabino finding the corner. And what an adjustment there by uh, that running hit. And Coach Jesse Lopez will call his final timeout. We'll listen in. Mas advantage tayo sana sa high. May ikot sila na weak, weak, may weak rotation sila. Kaso ang problema, hindi natin ma-maximize. Hindi tayo makapatay. Diba? Nasa, na, anong rotation nila ngayon? Diba? Nasa harapan nyo isa na quicker na pwede tayong mag-advantage doon. Adjust lang. Kailangan nyo mag-adjust. Hindi, hindi tayo pwedeng uma, ano lang, umasa lang sa error, error nila. Hindi sila nag-error sa service. Bibihira. Ang atake nila, halos... 90%, 80%, pagka umatake sila, mapatay sa atin. Hindi tayo makablock. Transition natin. Tambahan. Well, it's the same problems in the first set, Yos, that uh, Coach Lopez is complaining about. That's right, no? same scenario, same talagang yung ikot, hindi lang ma-maximize yeah. kung, kung saan malalaki, mas malalaki sila. And that, uh, Maverick na mas mahinang ikot yung mas maliliit yung mga nasa harap. Even the transitions, hindi gumagana for them. Labrador sends it on the line. It looked like it was going to be long, but it landed on the line. So Labrador with a point. The uh, hard hitters are not going to challenge. They'll let it go. Uh, it's very in. That's right. Pasok na pasok sa linya. So it's a four-point game. Abdul with a serve. Good pass. There's a nice hit by Cordes, backing up. McLean will set it. Oof, they didn't go to anybody. It's a free ball here for the hard hitters. Back row, Kim Tan. And it's off the block. No, no touch. So back-to-back -back points for the airmen. No touch for Maverick. Uh, trying to activate that backline attacker of uh, Maverick. So a two-point run for the airmen from down five. They are serving 20 to 23, but uh, this is what Coach Lopez has been talking about, these errors. And it's four set points for the hard hitters. 24 serving 20. Big smile on the face of Jerome Cordes. Haleko, not a good pass.
tough set for Villegas. Labrador, easy pickup for Alfaro. Here we go. Kim Tan for the finish. Rejected. Tan with coverage. Tan will try again. And this time into the net. So that's four touches against the hard hitters. Right, there's going to be a challenge though. First challenge for Coach Ramos and the hard hitters. They have not called the timeout so far in the last two sets. Eh, that's because nga talaga medyo mas nakakaangat sila so far. Simula pa ng first set and also in the second set talaga medyo nahihirapang humabol itong uh, airmen sa scoring system and also the transitions na hindi mailabas din itong airmen mas nakakuha ng Mavericks ang uh, advantage on this set. Here's Coach uh, Erickson Ramos on the left of your screen. So. And there is a block touch. So it's it's not four touches against the hard hitters. They will replay the point here. No set point is saved. Good challenge by Coach Ramos and the hard hitters. So Cordes will serve again. Looking to win by five. They won by six points in the opening set. Another bad pass. Back row, Abdul. And Sebrero can close it out. They go to... Palisok, Pahleco with a nice pass, Labrador with a push, kept alive, Cordes, Alfaro will send it over underhand, chance ball for the airmen, Labrador again, Alfaro playing great defense in the back row, here comes Kim Tan, and Kim Tan will close it out. And still, the longest rally so far, talagang Maverick pa rin ang nakakakuha on this game. Terrific defense, transitioning to offense, Kim Tan with a kill. And after losing their first three games in straight sets, and right now the hard hitters have won two straight sets, going into set number three against the Airmen. Yung sinabi ni Coach Jess dati na parang wag mat matakot madapa. Kahit ilang beses ka madapa, angat ka ng matibay. Kasi sa paglalaro ng volleyball, hindi ka naman araw-araw uh, magaling. May mga time talaga, may mga panahon na nasa baba ka, may mas umangat sa'yo. Pero tuloy ka pa rin sa pag-aano, pag pupursigi. Back here at the Inares Sports Arena, Two sets to one, at, uh, two sets to nothing advantage for the hard hitters against the Airmen after winning by six in the opening set, winning by five in set number two. These are the first two sets they've ever won in the Open Conference as we look at highlights of the second set. Same scenario for both teams, no? And yun nga, no, yung mga errors itong Philippine Air Force, so doon sa service area, talagang dumadami at dumadami, and even the misreceives and also the transitions na hindi makuha. Nila yung puntos and also the long rallies. No? Laging nananalo doon ang uh, Maverick dahil kita-kita natin medyo mas ready yung sa depensa nitong Maverick and even the attacks and even the backline attacks nitong uh, Maverick. Sagang mas nakakula ng puntos doon na mas marami compared to Air Force na mas madaming nakuha ang errors on this match. Terrific rallies and some of the you know, key players of the hard hitters really delivering the big points when they need it. That's right, 17 attacks for uh, Mavericks. Kita kita natin kasi kanina, no? Ang daming combination plays na ipapakita nitong Mavericks compared to 14 itong Philippine Air Force and also 3 block points for Mavericks compared to 1 itong uh, Air Force and yun nga, no? Service, services, talagang both teams medyo nagkakaroon ng counting struggles when it comes to serving. Doon siya nakakuha ng mas madaming errors. Uh, in time, Jerome Cordes with seven points, along with Kim Tan, Vazel Palisok with six points. Again, the key players really stepping up for the hard hitters, and that is why they're up two sets to nothing going into set number three. Wilbert Sebrero will serve us off here in the third set. Could be the final set if the hard hitters can close it out. Alfaro, who has been playing great defense so far in the entire match. Cabillan pushes, Salvador popping it up. Labrador, back row, picked up by Cordes. Sebrero out to Honrado, yes! What is fine there by Honrado. Early on this uh, third set. 
kita kita nya, nampukas no, nampukas, yung uh, zone one ni tong uh, Air Force and what a set there by uh, Sebrero. Ikang so far no, ang ganda ng ball distribution ni tong si Sebrero. Villegas goes to Salvador. Did see action in the second set. There's a net touch against Honrado and the Airmen will get their first point of the third set. Paul Salvador. Alfaro with a pass. Camillan! Nowhere to go! And finally, a good read there by uh, Domingo and Caholo. Yung tamban tayo na lang mabuti dito ang uh, middle nitong uh, Maverick. First lead here in the third set for the Airmen. Palisok! Off the block, it goes outside. We're tied at two. And still, even with a triple block, kung umahayo ng mga puntos dito sa Maverick. Palisok hitting it off the block. Uh, Razel Palisok now with seven. Honrado starting here in the third set. Caholo, nowhere to go. It is on the line. And also. Holos, medyo din kakaroon pa rin ng struggles. The adjustment on that uh, hit. Perfect timing for Maverick. Kahit medyo maliit, no? Yung blockers itong uh, Maverick. Masa perfect timing, perfect... Uh, oh, another again. block! This is now a three-point run for the hard hitters. And they're up 4-2 after back-to-back -back kill blocks. Yung pinapatunayan itong uh, Maverick na kahit hindi sila ganun katangkad uh, magagand, maganda ang pagkaka-establish nila nung blocking eh, makakablock at makakablock sila Overpass There's a push by Herald Domingo Alfaro sets it up There's a dig coming from Villegas Baclan will set it Labrador through the block of Capillan And again, almost a good block <laughs> For uh, Maverick, medyo na late lang doon. Ang talon. So, three serving four. Herald Domingo. A great pass by Honrado. Razel Parisok! It's outside. And they're gonna challenge. They're saying it's on the line. Razel Parisok looking at the coaching staff, telling him a challenge, so they will. I don't know. It looked it looked wide from our angle. But a great game, nevertheless, for these hard hitters. They're up two sets to nothing, and they're up by one. Both teams are coming off a loss. And it is, yep, yeah, it is in. Good challenge. Razel Palisok forcing the coaching staff, really telling him to challenge it. And he was right. And why not, no? Talagang, so far, talagang umaayon dito sa Maverick. Every point, talagang hindi nakakadikit. Itong uh, Air Force. That's their, actually, yun yung sana yung chance nila mag-tie in yep. this game. Two-point lead for the hard hitters. Bad pass from Salvador as the airmen again falling apart early here in set number three. And yeah, what a serve there by Capillan. Perfect uh, float serve. Capillan, another serve to Salvador who had 13 receptions in the last game. There is Lumanlan with a side out stopping the three-point run of the hard hitters. Why not? No, pagka nagkaroon ng uh, perfect uh, receive, uh, better receive ang uh, Air Force. So, yung pupunta at pumunta sila dito sa middle blockers nila. Kaholo will serve it outside. I mean, since the first set, yos, th these airmen, they have not been able to adjust to the service faults. That's right. Well, merong something talaga doon sa service area na yun itong uh, Air Force. Razel Palisok. Almost an ace. Villegas popping it up. Labrador with a push. Easy pickup for Cordes. Palisok. 
bounces it off the net cord and it hits one of the blockers. And there's going to be a challenge, I think, here. Uh, uh, um, they're having second thoughts. They're uh, not. No, they're not going to challenge. Oh, they will challenge. Okay, they will challenge now. Took a while. Uh, all right, so no technical timeout. Yeah, that there will be a challenge. They're going to take away this point if the challenge is successful. Coach Lopez is upset with his guys. He's a asking him. He didn't tell me. They gave the point already. He should have told me if he didn't touch it, I would have challenged. Right now, a lack of communication amongst the players and players and coaching staff of the Airmen. So the Coliseum score is now back to 7-4. They've taken away the point from the hard hitters. All right, there is a block touch clearly. So it's going to be 8-4. Hard hitters, first technical timeout. Black shirts are up by four against the white shirts of the Airmen here in the third set. Kaholo and Brad Nakaza, but Eric and Yos, these two have gone through the same journey in the past few years. They both graduated high school in 2020 with big dreams to realize in the UAAP, only to get hit with the same injury. Patelar tendonitis, kaya hindi na sila natuloy mahapaglaro sa UAAP. Si Rans playing only one season with UP at si Franz di nahapaglaro for UAAP at all. And so they find themselves again here on the same court, both treating the spiker surf as their second shot in volleyball. All right, thank you, Doreen, and Razel Padisok again nailing that one in. What a gorgeous play. It's the defense and offense of the hard hitters yours that's really lifting him. 11 points now, first time in double digits for Razel Palisok. So far in the tournament, his biggest scoring output was seven against the Navy, Cordes. Finds another opening. The run continues for the hard hitters. That's right. And that's because also of the ball distribution of uh, Sembrero activating almost everyone. We got a lot of teammates in the Papa so far in this game. Biggest lead for the hard hitters at six points. Ten serving four. Palisok uh, gets an ace. That's going to be 12 points now for Razel Palisok. Points already. I stand corrected. For Razel Palisok, his highest scoring output here in the Open Conference. Timeout for Coach Lopez. We will listen in. Hindi naman din ayon yung yung maglaro sa loob ng hindi naman ganyan hindi insa yun natin eh. Hindi natin hindi na wala na yung pinapraktis natin na ribal. Alam natin na black na tayo. Pinipilit pa rin natin. Hindi tayo nagbabasa ng atake ng alaban. Ang baba ng, ang baba ng attack natin. Saan tayo kukuha ng points? Hintayin natin sila mag-error. Eh wala, wala tayo kukuha na ng points. Kasi kahit sa transition, di tayo makapoints eh. Ma may maayos tayo yung receive, di tayo makapatay. Ay, ang trabaho yan! Ay, boss, ang 3-1-2-3. Ay, boss. Alright. Coach Jesse Lopez, I mean, just disappointment. Um, you can hear the tone of his voice. He knows how good his team is, but they just can't execute properly in this match, not just here in the third set. Look at the ace numbers there. Three to one, that's another ace. Woo! Smoke and serve, Razel Palisok. Razel Palisok with uh, 14 big points already. 10 attacks, two block, and that's the second service ace so far in this game. And this is now the biggest lead at eight points. Mojaleco, much better pass. Labrador on the attack. A push. Pancake saved by Palisok. Battle on the net. Oh, and Jerome Cordes drilling that one in. Yo, the way that ni uh, Coach Jesse, na wala sa kanila, no? transition and even the rallies na nakumuha nitong Mavericks so far. 
Hey, talagang gumagana at gumagana for the Maverick. Cordes, now with nine points. That is popped up. Sebrero chases it down. Cordes will hit. Maklang with a pass. Labrador with a push. Easy pickup for Alfaro. Sebrero. Back to Palisoki. He has the hot hand. And there's a block touch against the Airbits. It is now an 11 point lead for the hard hitters. There's going to be a challenge. This is wishful thinking, I believe, for the Airmen. It looked like it really bounced off Labrador, but they're going to challenge it anyway. Beg your pardon, it's a nine point lead now. If the challenge is unsuccessful, it'll be a 10 point lead. First double digit lead of the entire match. And that'll be the biggest deficit against these airmen. They have not really found their rhythm, their groove, and have really struggled both on offense and defense the entire match. Right now, the airmen are led by, uh, see is scoring nobody in double digits yet, I believe. Eight points. The eight points coming from Lumanlan, and that's it. All right, here's the challenge. Wow, all right. So I stand corrected as well. Good eye by the coaching staff. There seems to be no block touch. Good challenge. It's a nine-point game. Coach Lopez still shaking his head. Obviously, not happy with the outcome. It's an eight-point game. It's five, serving 13 now as Rakaza will check in. Franz Rakaza out of FEU. All right, raw server. Labrador should be serving. Five thirteen. Alfaro with a pass. Rakaza his first touch. There's a block. Alfaro with coverage. Rakaza again. This one is outside. But there is a block touch. Yeah, the block touch on Villegas. So Franz Rakaza, after a three-point performance against the Navigators, has won already today. A nine-point lead. Uh, makes that eight points after the service fault by Rakaza. Luis Lumanlan serving 6-14. Rakaza with a receive. Labrador pops it up. Caholo. Palisok. There you go to Rakaza. Back row. Got it. Once again, Sembrero activating all his teammates. Even Rakaza, na kahit kakapasok lang, na talaga bibigyan, bibigyan ng bola. Uh, two points already for Rakaza. Nine point lead for the hard hitters. Villegas out to Haleco. Rabino with the easy dig. Honrado with the push. Got it. Now the lead is 10, the biggest for the hard hitters in the entire match. And I'll send us to our second technical timeout here in set number three. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20th only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports and Pilipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on signal. Everything going the way of the hard hitters as Sembrero will score off a push all the way to the back row. The lead is now 11 for the hard hitters. And now Coach Erickson Ramos putting in some of the second stringers as JC Kitin will check in. Meanwhile, Villegas will sit out. Paulo Ancheta, the backup setter, is in for the airmen. Haleko with the pass, Ancheta back to Haleko. 
Off the chest of Rakaza. Chance ball here for the airmen. Ancheta on a one to play. Yes. Eh, what a drop ball there by Ancheta. Kahit kakapasok lang, no? Talagang hindi pa huli ang lahat for him. Also, a former uh, NU Bulldog, si Benok Ancheta. Uh, not a good pass coming from Honrado. Palisok on the line. Razel Palisok. I mean, what a swing today. In uh, the meantime, Jan Klimajo checking in, replacing Jetro Cabillan. So just about the entire bench has checked in for Coach Ramos. That service just in. Sebrevo, that is even way in. Haneko just let it go, thinking it was going to go outside. 12-point lead for the hard hitters. And uh, even the uh, services of uh, Maverick, talagang bumahid sa kanila, talagang huwag pa pa outside the yung service niya. And because of that float, talagang biglang bumagsak on that end line. Haleko with a pass. Ancheta sets it up to Haleko. Blocked by Honrado. Here comes Kaholo. Nowhere to go. Even the blocking, sinon nitong Maverick talagang gumagana at gumagana on this set. Talagang hindi, hindi gumagana ang uh, even the attacks of uh, Air Force. Take a look at the total block situation. Maverick with 8 points already. Overpass! Blocking! And also, that over-receive of Air Force. Oh. Air Force is getting bludgeoned here in set number three. Final timeout for Coach Jesse Lopez. Pasa lang muna na maayos kasi ang problema, hindi tayo makapasa. Ilang consecutive, ilang apat, apat na sunod-sunod. Hindi tayo makapasa. Hindi tayo makapasa. Pasa muna. Tatlo yung spiker mo, di ba? Oo. Create ka ng space para mapaikot natin. Okay, isa-isa lang natin. Okay? Tigit lang natin. Ah, tigit lang natin. Tigit nyo lang muna. Okay? Pasa muna. Spacing. Receive. Kung sino papalo. Pag namatay, ikot. Isa-isa natin. Pasa muna. Pasa. Air Force. Air Force. Oh, what a rough game here for the Airmen. We have really been punished on both ends here by the hard hitters. They have been grounded, so to speak. As Chedones is back in, replacing Honrado, who has really played well, very well off the bench. Lead is 14 points, the biggest for the hard hitters in the entire match. Uh, finally, a free point for the airmen off a service fault by Wilbert Sabrero, who has distributed the ball so very well today, Jos. Right, if they still want it uh, for Air Force, if they want to be able to play on this game, this is their chance. Let's see, it's really almost second six in the lineup of Maverick. Sun Tiang with a great effort, keeping it alive. Ancheta, the push. Sun Tiang will set it. They go to Palisok, why not? Razel Palisok, what a superb game today. Right. Double digits for uh, Russell Palisok. Talagang every point, every half niya ng bola at nakakaputos, nakakaputos siya dito sa set na to. Back to a 14-point lead, hard hitters. Sundiang with the up. Palisok again. Yes! Russell Palisok! What a set there by Sebrero. Alam niyang mainit na mainit dito si uh, Paliso. Kaya ano man talagang hanap kung hanap siya kay Paliso dito on this third set. 17 points for Razel Paliso. That's a conference high for him. Uh, finally a side out. Herald Domingo with a point. Chatones with a pass. Prakaza, yes! 
Again, that setting of Sebrer. Na pasabay niya don si Luis Lumanlan. Kaya naman na mayuan magisa ang blocker dito ng Air Force. Here's the serve by John Klimako. They're up. This is by 15 match points. They can close it out here. Klimako passes on the second touch. Halik or make that Kaholo will hit. And send it outside, and that is it. And that last point basically tells the story of how the airmen have, they played today. Coach Erickson Ramos, after losing in straight sets in all of their matches, they win in straight sets today against the airmen. Yos. And what a game for Maverick. That yung sinamantala nila. Ang slow start dito ng uh, Air Force, kita kita natin na yung even the transitions, yung magiging aggressive to that every point. Tao kuha at nakakuha dito ng Maverick. And the official score, three set win for the hard hitters. Getting their first win of the Open Conference as they take down the Airmen. Now four straight losses for the Airmen. We'll come back to award our best player and to wrap this up right after these. You're still watching this Piker Surf Open Conference. From being on the receiving end of sweeps to sweeping the Philippine Air Force, the Maverick hard hitters write themselves a different story in this game. And I'm here with the best player of the game, their setter, Will Sebrero. Will, congratulations. Unang panalo ng Maverick this conference. Ano-ano ang mga bagay sa preparations ninyo na nag-work, lalo na sa'yo as a setter, especially with that very dominant third set? Um, para po sa akin, yung sa training namin last week, um, nagbigay si La Coaches ng three times kami mag-insayo. Kasi usually po, two, two times a week lang po kami. And then, ang siguro naging ano namin, preparation, is yung spacing po sa PASA para mabigyan ng ng atake yung mga spikers and maging libre sila lagi. O kaya, either lang na hindi sila maka-establish yung kalaban ng, sa mga blockings yun. At talagang nag-pay off ang yeah. hard work ninyo. Anong impact ng panalo na to, Will, sa'yo, sa team, at kung paano nyo tinitignan yung mga susunod yung laro, especially dahil papunta na tayo sa second half ng elimination round? Um, siguro po yung ano, ah, uh... Kasi tiba po um, kami parang underdog yung bis kami sa liga. So siguro yung magiging maglulok forward kami is yung sa next game namin which is signal po. So parang magandang stepping stone po to para magkaroon kami ng kumpiyansa bawat isa. Ayun po. As, and as a team po. And dinabati ko lang po yung family ko, especially yung parents ko, yung mga kapatid ko, and, and yung mga family ng teammates ko, and then yung girlfriend ko po si Ali. Hello po. Ayun lang po. Inspired naman pala. Thank you and congratulations again, Will. Ito na nga ba ang simula ng uh, different story for the Maverick Hard Hitters. Malalaman natin yan in your next few games. But for now, we send it over to you, Eric and Dios. All right, thank you very much, uh, Doreen. Congratulations, Will Sobrero. What a game today. Great distribution as you look at highlights of the third set. Actually, no, talaga medyo nahirapan ako mamili sa best player. Medyo torn ako for uh, uh, sa Mavericks. Uh, Palisok scoring 19 big points. And Cordes also distributing, uh, contributing with 9 points. You know, kasi because of the ball distribution nito si uh, Sebrero, talagang kita-kita natin, no? Laging yun nga, no? Sabi niya kanina, laging nalilibre. So far, no? Yung spacing ng reception and also, naiiwan mag-isa lagi yung blockers nitong uh, Philippine Air Force na, yun naman, kitang-kita talaga natin na nangyari nga naman on this uh, three straight win nitong uh, Maverick. Let's take a look at the stats of uh, the match. And a very dominant third set win itong uh, Maverick. 16 attack points compared to only 4 nitong uh, Air Force. And even some blocks, 3 points for Maverick and 1 for Air Force. And also, yun nga, no? even the services nitong uh, Maverick talagang gumagana sa kanila. On that uh, third set, kaya naman kitang-kita natin. Ang laki nung naging lamang nila on that set to finish this game. All right, uh, action continues in the Open Conference on Sunday. We're going to be at the Phil Sports Arena. It's a triple header. Starting off with Savage taking on the Airmen, VNS, after the big win today against Richmark, taking on Navy. And then the most anticipated matchup between the King Crunchers and the HD Spikers starts at 6 p.m. 
uh, of course, on One Sports and Filipinas Live. Thanks to our director, Nick Earnshaw, executive producer, Adam Ayuga, for Doreen Soy Baguio, Julius Yoson. I'm Eric Dipan. Thanks for watching. A big win today in three straight sets for Maverick Hard Hitters as they take down the Airmen. And final game of your doubleheader right here on Filipinas Live.